read you a couple of excerpts out of a book. Now, I'm about to take a chance here because I'm, I'm about to read you a couple of things out of a very secular book. But I want you to hear some of the advice that the world is giving us. And I'm saying to us, the world is telling us this and we don't understand that this is so much more vivid and true and genuine of people in the faith. One time, one afternoon, I was home early enough from work to take in a little bit of Oprah. And I do that from time to time because so many women are watching that show and so many women look to her for advice across, I mean, across the globe, but certainly in this nation. Number one, perhaps, number one advice giver to women through the media is Oprah. One particular afternoon, I caught the show when she had on the authors to a book. It's primarily a guy, and it's a, a man and a woman that came together to bring this message forth. But it was kind of his message, and she helped him get it out. He's just not that into you. And it's basically a man going, stop embarrassing yourself here. You're just, you know, just face up to the fact that this is not the one and cut yourself loose. Now, I'm just translating that into my own kind of language. I want you to hear a couple of excerpts out of it. Listen to this. It's got some letters, like he receives letters, and then he writes back. Dear Greg, I'm dating my married boss. We've kept it on the down low so that no one will find out about it. I really, really love him, and he loves me. I know it's wrong to date a married man, but his wife is so awful to him. She calls him names and tells him that he's stupid. They never have sex. He tells me that I'm the only thing keeping him going. How can I leave him when he's going through such a hard time and I love him so much? Hey, down low, really, we're having this conversation. I'm really going to have to explain to you why you shouldn't be dating a married man. Well, okay, here is the, the lowdown on your boss. He's married and having an affair, which indicates to me so many things. First, he's okay with being dishonest, and he puts in parentheses, nice. Second, he's fine with cheating on his wife, in parentheses, super. Third, he has no regard for marriage, in parentheses, what a gem. Fourth, and most specifically to you, he has no real regard for you because what you're getting from him is scraps, stolen time that's cloaked in shame, in parentheses, just what you always dreamed of as a girl, right? And because this is a workplace affair, who do you think will be asked to leave when the romance goes sour or becomes water cooler fodder that threatens his job and or marriage? You. And whose reputation as a serious business person will be compromised? Did you guess you? Good girl. Regardless of how awful his wife is to him, it obviously isn't that bad or he would get out of it. A good relationship should not be lived in secrecy. Go find yourself one worth living out loud. I wanna say something to you. Is the world going to have to tell us how to live some moral lives? Because, you know, I, I just want to say out of desperation, and I say to you out of great compassion as one who's been pulled from the pit, I, I would try never ever to talk down to you. I'd be a, a fool. I'd be an idiot to do it. But I, I know there are people listening today that are involved in affairs with married men or married women or they themselves are married. And it's just... It is beneath a child of God. It's, it's not his way. And it's a very desperate move. And I, it opens the door to all manner of destruction. I just plead with you, this is not God's will for your life, no matter how we rationalize. Must we have the world tell us that? I mean, I'm thankful that he does. But I'm simply saying we are children of God. You have more value than that.